name's Steric Lang Venus, and uh, I just want to make something clear right from the get-go. Uh, I run a pretty clean show out here. Uh, not a lot of profanity or vulgarity. Um, I do mention the word penis, though. Uh, but that's as far as it goes. Good, good. That sounds good. All right, so, uh, who'd like to see my penis by round of applause? How many people? Uh, right there. Thank you, sir. Uh, that's very nice of you. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'll tell you why. I just got out of the hospital, which, as many of you know, is not a very pleasant experience. You know how it is. You're naked half the time. Everybody's got their hands all over you. I had this one fellow examine me. He's like, uh, does this hurt right there? What about right now? Does that cause you pain right in there? What about right now? Do you feel that right in there, buddy? What about this? You like where this is going, buddy? Is that okay right there? You like that? And I'm just lying here, right? I'm like, buddy, if you don't get back into your bed, I'm calling the doctor, okay? Because this is, this is just too much here. When you're in the hospital, you gotta try and relax, have fun. I like to pose for my x-rays. That's what I like to do. Yeah, okay. I almost became a doctor, actually. I uh, became a comic instead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they say laughter is the best medicine, so that sort of makes me a doctor, I think. <laughs> That's pretty much the same response my father gave me. Uh... <laughs> Something you should know about my dad. My dad is German. He's also an engineer. Not a lot of comedy growing up in that home, folks. Uh... <laughs> We, uh, we had a lot of strict rules growing up. One of the strictest rules we had was we had to wake up with a smile. <laughs> yeah, that was one of our rules growing up. Every morning, we would come downstairs. My father would be waiting for us in the living room with his morning coat on, cup of coffee in his hand, classical music playing in the background. <laughs> Derek, look at me. Why aren't you smiling, Derek, hmm? Are you not happy to see your father, hmm? <laughs> Marks were very important. My father evaluated everything. Start as early as kindergarten. I remember once I had a coloring assignment to do. It was a picture of a monkey, and uh, my father found it. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Derek, <laughs> come here. Did you color this picture up, the monkey? Hmm? Why would you use purple for the monkey, hmm? Is the monkey not brown, yeah? You remember I took you to the zoo, I showed you some monkeys, yeah? Your monkey looks like he's losing circulation, yeah. Your monkey's going to die, Derek. My father had an answer for everything, though. I'll give him credit for that. Uh, I remember once I was watching Sesame Street, right? And I just turned to my dad and I said, Dad, how come Big Bird can't fly? And my dad, he just looked at me and he said, uh, Well, that is because that is not a bird, Derek. That is a tired old man in a bird costume. <laughs> He's a failed actor and we will never see his face on the TV. I remember when we were young, uh, my brother crapped on the floor. Yeah. He was getting a spanking at the time, actually. And uh, yeah, yeah, I bet you guys don't have a story like that. And, uh, and my dad, he didn't know what to do. He was like, what is this? And my mother, she was hysterical. She was like, it's shit. I hope you're happy. And that was the last spanking we ever got, right? Because where do you go once you spank the crap out of one of your kids, right? <laughs> and uh, I didn't actually see it. I came running downstairs, and uh, there was my dad on his hands and his knees cleaning it up. And I looked at him, I said, Dad, look at me. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. <laughs>